Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I will be talking about our home buying process. Me and my husband are trying to buy a house and um, at this moment uh, I'm not working because I'm nine months postpartum so I'm just looking after the baby and um, my husband is only working. In the future I will start working and um, so we went ahead and applied for our loan through our real estate agent who was being re recommended by one of my friends and we got approved for FHA uh, based on the income and debt ratio we did not get um, qualified we we did not qualify for conventional we qualified for FHA um, I'm just looking because my baby's taking a nap so I'm just looking at the camera uh, so uh, I have my notes in here and um, so we started um, looking at the homes at the end of um, May or the first week of uh, June um, so the home buying process started as uh, our lender wanted uh, to send some of the papers before we got approved for the loan and it took around like um, two or three days you give like your W-2s, uh, my permanent residency because I'm not a United States citizen and um, my husband's travel license, stuff like that to see that you have enough income to qualify for the loan. So um, I always looked at Zillow and um, around this time I thought uh, the COVID started which is awful. I hope you all are safe and uh, because of the COVID I thought that the market the home market value will go down but instead it's not the case it's going up and up and up and guess what it's not 5,000 it's not 10,000 it's not 20 it's going like up to $30,000 and more on houses so if a list price if just say a house is listed for $100,000 just for example that house will or may sell for $130,000, dollars at least where I'm where I'm staying because right now I'm in Buffalo, New York. And um and it is a seller's market. There is so many houses. You will see so many houses coming in the market each and every day. You open Zillow, I open Zillow. I open I I sleep at night. I feed my son at the middle of the night and I wake up some sometimes I can't fall asleep and I look in Zillow and it's like buy more houses right in the middle of the night I check at 11 p.m. and then at 2 a.m. 3 a.m. five more houses popped up in Zillow I'm like okay it sells market and houses go like like you put the offer today the houses is gone is like in like two or three days or the next day you never know so well I looked at a few houses and um, my husband's credit score was up and he, I don't know, he had some kind of um, miscommunication with his student loans and uh, his uh, credit score went down so duh, but whatever, we were not approved for conventional so it doesn't matter, we are FHA so I think FHA your credit score have to be had to be within 580 and above. So uh, we looked at houses, the first house we put an offer and we loved that house and that house was selling for, I don't remember, selling for a certain list price and um, we put like $5,000 more on that house and the next day we heard that we were denied and I didn't know at the time that the houses were going up for so long, so, so much for money. And I was like so disappointed but that was the first house and my husband was more because he loved the house much more then we started looking at more houses and then we put more offers and um, the next house I looked at uh, it was like the same exact neighborhood I wanted exact school district exact where I am living right now and um, we put in an offer i told the real estate agent i want this house it's so pretty it's so beautiful it's not that huge we don't want it's a starter home i want a starter home because 
this is our first home this is not our forever home so it's like 10 to 15 uh, years from now we will be moving out so we don't want any expensive house and my real estate agent I, I told him how much I want to pay for the house I offered like uh, 20 to 25,000 more on the house and he was like okay you have a very strong offer I was like pretty confident that going putting that offer I was pretty confident that okay I will get that offer accepted um, the next day that we put the offer today no not not next day we put the offer today there was an open house for that house for that house we put an offer and they cancel uh, the open house just because we put that offer for 20,000 more 25,000 more and um, and the seller's agent called my real estate agent and told that we have to sign an addendum saying that we will be waiving an appraisal so we will be paying 170,000 even if the the value during the appraisal that the house appraised for much less I was like no I'm not gonna do that I'm not going to pay more for the house that is not worth it why 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 would I do that even if I love the house why would I do that and they were like we can't do an inspection because the seller is has already done their pre-inspection I'm like no I want to do my inspection I want the, my peace of mind this is my first home I don't know where I'm going in I will be spending so much money first of all I have to pay more and then I don't have to do inspection that doesn't sound right well my real estate agent told the seller that uh, no I won't be signing any addendum and he said okay so they didn't accept our offer and they accepted an offer for hundred and something much less than ours much less than ours like like maybe uh, three or four thousand more than the list price and it was a conventional loan oh by the fact by the by but most of the sellers are accepting the uh, conventional loan over FHA uh, so I was like okay I felt bad I felt sad but I was like okay if I didn't get it it was not it, it was not my house so next we keep on looking we keep on looking around this time we are keeping on looking and we have already looked at almost uh, 15 16 20 houses and within that I found a house and this house was in the market for 70 days and I loved that house and I loved it I entered that house we me and my husband entered that house and we were like oh my god I love this house this is our house this will be our home but it, it, it was in the market for 70 days and we looked at the house it was not that big it has a perfect square footage it has a huge it has a huge backyard a nice front lawn it has a very nice neighborhood a very good school district so if it is starter home it will be a perfect starter home so I talked to my real estate agent and I as usual put my hopes high and excuse me he told me that we can put an offer this this house was listed for 175,000 and he told that we can put in 160,000 because this house was in the market for 70 days at the time so I was like great let's do it and at that time uh, my we came home I was so excited for this house because I knew that there is no offer on this house and we will be getting it and my 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 real estate agent called the seller's agent and guess what the seller's agent called our agent that there is already an offer at the house if we have to get accepted we have to come with at least the list price or higher i was like why didn't they tell that before it made me so sad <laughs> it made me so sad but th th that side part didn't come just listen what happened and then I said okay I will pay 175,000 then the seller said no 
then we said okay 180 to 185 thousand no more than that that is like way way above like we don't want to go beyond our limit and he said okay and the seller said no the other other person who is going with the, they they are going with the offer with they already paid they, they they are offering like around the same money but they are conventional so they will accept the conventional loan over the FHA loan uh, I think I think we spent around like two or three hours going back and forth with the price but that's I think that's how negotiation works with house buying process but when they said like no I was like oh I was like devastated I was like I cried but my mom and my husband said like there are so many houses coming up maybe that house is not for me and I was like yeah maybe it's not for me uh, so we kept on looking at houses at that time when whenever I was going to look at houses you have that you know that that house was not for you but somehow that house that floor plan that idea that you looked at other that house it's in your head so when you look at the other house it's like oh i like that house and it was so pretty i like i want something like that but around that price range i was not finding anything like that so we didn't put any offer for for like one or two weeks Era, mm two and a half weeks something like that so then we look at another house like not not far from here where we live right now and um, we put an offer we like that house we didn't love it we like that house a lot at this moment I was like stressed I want to get out of this apartment I want our own house um, and we put an offer on that house in our sellers our agent called and he said that the seller's agent said we didn't get accepted we were on the top two they accepted the conventional loan over the FHA loan and we and 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 we were going with escalation clause with all of them not only thousand dollars we were putting three to four thousand three thousand to four thousand dollars more than the highest price but still we didn't get accepted just because of FHA loan I was so devastated not as devastated as the first one but still I was I was sad but at this point I was like Mm, I know if you're calling me it's not a good news it's like uh, it's four or five houses it's still the same sellers don't want FHA it will be a hurt time for us but guess what he called me and gave that bad news that we did not get accepted at that time he said you believe our real estate agent said you believe that everything happens for a reason like right and I said yes why what happened and he said guess what I was like at this time I was like I had no idea what he was going to say I was like what and he said the other offer didn't go through like the contract fell somehow it didn't happen with the house I loved and I got devastated and if we want now they are ready to accept our offer and we can move forward with the house you won't believe my reaction <laughs> I called my husband and he didn't believe either it was it was such a surprise like I was so stressed I was so I was so stressed after that news but after this when he said like uh, our offer would have accepted <sighs> sorry so many emotions right now even though I was like we are obviously going going through we are going forward with this house no matter what we are going forward with this house and then yeah and that's it and so we are moving forward with this house at this moment we are in the in the escrow, escrow process it's like we gave our earnest money and stuff like that thank you for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed subscribe and don't forget to click that like button and also the bell icon and um next time i will be updating you guys with all whatever is going through our escrow process what our uh, what our loan amount is what's going on how we are going through and there will be a surprising news to come too okay keep watching bye